Hey guys, and welcome back to another World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor video. So, this time I'm just going to be going over the highlights of the initial alpha test notes. Now, I'm going to have a lot of in-depth videos coming out over the next few days. In fact, I'm already beginning work on my video on the talents, the perks, a whole bunch of the changes, more in-depth. And my general format for these is going to be that I'm going to go over the changes in a factual manner, exactly as Blizzard have presented them. And then at the end of those videos, I'm going to give my own personal thoughts. But this video is just a quick little thing to get you up to speed and give you a little bit of a taste of what is to come. So, first of all, I'm just going to cover the highlights and the main interesting things that are going on here. So first of all, character stats have basically just been squished, and they've talked about the item squish. They said that it's very important to understand that it's not a nerf to enemies, because they've also been squished as well. Everything is squished. So our relative power is the exact same, but the numbers should be a lot nicer. They have also added a new row of talents for level 100, as we expected, but there are going to be new perks, and these are going to be unlocked from level 91 to 99, and they will augment our existing ability. So it doesn't add bloat, but at least it adds a bit of a reward and some gameplay. Then they also talked about the garrison as well in the patch notes on their little TLDR post. And um, yeah, really nothing new about the garrisons. Another interesting thing that I'm actually going to cover specifically in a video is that they've rebalanced the functionality of agility, strength, and intellect so that it's a little bit more readable and easier to understand. And also, it's just a bit better for balancing. Then also, hit and expertise have been removed from the game. They're gone, so you'll always be able to reliably land attacks. I think that's actually a really good thing to do, because hit and expertise caps, they just weren't fun. They never really added much gameplay or decision making. So next he said, um, well not he, um, <laughs> they said that the pace of healing is going to be adjusted. Basically they want to emphasize tactical decision making regarding efficiency and throughput um, based on both multi-target and single target situations. Also passive and auto-targeted healing has been reduced a little bit to emphasize the actual choice of players. I think that's a very good thing and it should make healing a lot more mentally engaging, fun and uh, just better overall. I really am pretty happy about those changes, and actually if you search the channel, I already have a video talking about them. Next, they also said that they rebalanced racial traits so that they are essentially going to have similar combat performance, much better than it is at the minute, and there should not be any outliers like, say, the orcs. Overall, um, yeah, overall, extremely good. Alright, so next, a whole bunch of classes have had some of their abilities pruned, with a focus on the redundant and less used abilities. This should basically cut down on button and keybind bloat. Essentially, there's a lot of things which are bound to your keyboard, because you'll probably need to use them at some point during combat, but really they're just kind of annoying and they add complexity, but not necessarily depth. Um, it, it, you know, the situation where it's like, oh, you need to use that contrived ability at minute three of a fight or something. Um, hopefully they can still offer really interesting class-specific parts of fights while being able to remove some of these just more bloaty abilities that aren't particularly fun. Then they've also, of course, talked about the reduction of CC in the game, primarily for PvP. Basically, they don't think it was as much fun, and then they've also merged a whole bunch of diminishing returns categories, so there'll be a little bit more overlap there with spells. So basically, CC is being nerfed a lot in PvP. And I think that is for the better of the game, really. Again, there's already a video on the channel about that, so you can take a look. They've also done a thing with buffs. They have basically merged a whole bunch of common buffs and debuffs, and they've merged some of them, and then they've removed some which were actually redundant. I think that's okay. There was no fun to me in going into a raid and having to sit there for five minutes working out, oh, what, what pet are you taking? And, you know, balancing all our buffs out. Well, this just means you can get in, you can raid. And um, of course, though, there still will be buffs and debuffs, which you will have to account for. So it's not like they're completely removing that. Hopefully they strike up a little bit of a better balance, I suppose. But um, yeah, overall interesting enough. He, um, yeah, they also said that a few characters are going to learn some important glyphs, major glyphs, as they level up. What this should do is provide additional perks to your character as you level, and this will have a little bit of an effect on uh, scribes, but I have a video which will come out within the next 24 hours based on uh, that and a few other profession-based things as well. They also said that they have toned down the amount of instant healing in the game by giving several, um, well, by basically giving cast times to a few spells which were previously instants, um, instant spells. I think that makes sense. Instants were a no-brainer in too many cases, especially in PvP, and it reduced the, like, you know, you could, uh, you could, you'd have to fear someone to stop an instant. You couldn't interrupt it or anything like that, and I suppose that just made it a little bit too strong in PvP. And hopefully this change, with the overall balance that's going on, should not affect PvE content too much. Still, though, I think overall, good change. 
And then next, about Vengeance has actually been redesigned and they're calling it uh, Resolve. Now, Resolve doesn't increase your outgoing damage, but it does increase tank self-healing and absorption based on your damage taking. I think that's a really cool way to do it. It's a little bit more balanced than Vengeance, though I'd imagine some people will perhaps uh, be a little bit sad they're going to lose some DPS, but honestly, the people who care about DPS, um, well, are they necessarily going to be tanks? I don't particularly think so. I think tanking, it's more about controlling mobs, making sure that you're that badass who never dies, who just, you know, gets everything to stick to you like glue. So I think that's probably a very good change, and it just balances out tanks and DPS a little bit better. Plus it, yeah. So anyway, that, that's pretty good. Then also they have got facing requirements, uh, just tweaked in some abilities. I've already, well, I'm going to cover this soon in a video, but some things like backstab can now be used from the side. Basically, they thought that some of these things were really annoying from a gameplay perspective. They didn't think they added much depth, especially in PvP and some really, you know, tough scenarios like, say, heroic raiding. And they decided just to uh, loosen or remove them. I think that actually makes sense, but hopefully they still keep a little bit of the flavor there with those abilities. Okay, so next they also have uh, reduced the mana cost of some resurrection spells to make it a little bit easier to recover from a wipe. And then they've also got rid of all of the combat benefit perks to professions, which is certainly a very interesting one, actually. Yeah, basically it makes professions a personal choice, and I think that is how they should be. Then they said that there's also a multitude of class-specific changes, including things like uh, more distinction between talent specs and masteries and that kind of thing. Look, I'm going to do one video for every class. They'll release over the next few days. You can go and read it if you want, but if you just want uh, a more chilled-out version, I'll provide that in, uh, in due course. Anyway, that's it for this video. Look, just a quick little kind of TLDR primer for what's going on. The future videos on the channel are just going to be diving right into the information, right into a lot of the facts, going really in depth, and just talking about my opinions as well. So um, yeah, you have that to look forward to, a lot of stuff's going on, and just stay tuned to the channel because a lot of very interesting news is afoot and I just cannot wait to cover it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.